Hello, my friend. I'm Lola, and it's shadowing English speaking practice. We had a video about why shadowing is important, how to do it right. So if you want to watch this video, go find the link below. And now let's jump right into the episode. Today we'll be walking through Paris and practicing speaking English with shadowing. Let's jump straight into our app, Experiences, and we'll pick Walking Through Paris series, episode Notre Dame. By the way, uh, don't forget to switch the mode I'll show you. That's an intro. So we're walking with our friend who wow. shows us Paris. Notre Dame de Paris. And here we see our answer. But to be practicing shadowing correctly, we want to be listening instead of reading. So we go in the bottom left menu and we switch read and speak mode to listen and speak mode. Now we will hear the correct answer. Let's listen to it. Wow, it is so huge. And there are so many people milling around here. Once again, we want to listen a few times. Wow, it is so huge. And there are so many people milling around here. And we want to imitate the intonation. We really want to be a little kid who just repeats what he or she hears. Wow, wow. it is so huge. And there are so many people milling around, around here. Even if you don't know some words, for example, you don't know the word to be milling around. It's okay. So let's try. Wow, it is so huge, and there are so many people milling around here. Yes, I believe it is more popular than the Eiffel Tower. Let's listen to our answer. I can totally understand why these Gothic cathedrals are enormous. I can totally understand why these Gothic cathedrals are enormous. And don't be afraid of making mistakes. It's okay. Let's try. I can totally understand why these Gothic cathedrals are enormous. And the next phrase again. It must take forever to build. Oh, and if you notice, that's what we recommend doing if you're not practicing in our app, but you're practicing somewhere else, to be splitting the text into phrases or sentences and um, depending on your level. If you're a beginner, make it in small, short sections, small sentences, parts. Okay, let's listen again. It must take forever to build. It must take forever to build. It took over 300 years to build it. Wait, it looks like they're still at it. Wait, it looks like they're still at it. Wait. It looks like they're still at it. What's with the crane? Are they continuing to build it? What's with the crane? Are they continuing to build it? What's with the crane? Are they continuing to build it? It's so old, so there is always a renovation that's going on. Plus, remember the fire? And by the way, if you ever want to see the text, even though for shadowing practices, I do not recommend you reading once again, you can always switch back to read and speak mode. And then you see the phrase. But let's go back to listen and speak. Oh, yes, you're right. I vaguely remember. Uh, when was it? Once again, if you don't understand each word, that's okay. That's the whole purpose. You're like imitating without reading. You're, you're being a kid who's just repeating after what he or she heard. Okay. Oh, yes, you're right. I vaguely remember. Uh, when was it? Let's try to bring the emotions. Oh, oh yes, yes, you're right. I vaguely remember. remember. Uh, when was, was it? Oh, yes, you're right. I vaguely remember. When was it? 
in 2019, the roof caught the fire and it was burning for 15 hours. What a disaster. What a disaster. What a disaster. I think the Parisians were devastated because it's such an old and unique landmark. I think the Parisians were devastated because it's such an old and unique landmark. Let's try. I think the Parisians were devastated because it's such an old and unique landmark. I think the Parisians were devastated because it's such an old and unique landmark. That is true. When was the first time you learned about the Notre Dame? And by the way, some people say Notre Dame, somebody say Notre Dame. It's all okay. I actually saw a movie. I actually saw a movie. I actually saw a movie. The Hunchback of the Notre Dame movie? Yes, exactly. How did you know? Yes, exactly. How did you know? Yes, exactly. How did you know? I actually haven't seen the movie, but I've read the book. Which French author is it by? <laughs> Let's test her. Which French author is it by? Which French author is it by? It is by Victor Hugo. He also wrote Les Miserables. My French is awful. <laughs> right. It is by Victor Hugo. Your French sounds wonderful, by the way. Right. It is by Victor Hugo. Your French sounds wonderful, by the way. You're being nice. Right. It is by Victor Hugo. Your French sounds wonderful, by the way. Do you want to go inside? Do you want to go inside? Do you want to go inside? I don't think we can. I think it's closed for the public now. And we still have so much to see. I think we should keep going. Let's go. Let's go. And they kept walking through Paris. Let's see. Yep. Here we get the assessment of our fluency, intonation, and we can improve our pronunciation. Going through mistakes. Here you see. Then you can listen to the correct way and try to say it again and work on your American English. So if you want to go through other episodes and walking through Paris series, experiencing the real Paris walk while practicing English, getting feedback on your pronunciation, you can use our app. But a few points that I want you to take away if you've been practicing shadowing for the first time or recently, don't rush. It's not about really saying all the words 100% correctly. It's about being a kid who's playfully repeating what he or she hears. It's about picking out those little glides and slides in American pronunciation. And we repeat after the native speaker. So it helps us to, as we call it, fill our ear, you know, fill it with the correct sound of American English. It's super useful for all English learners. And I truly, with my full heart, recommend practicing shadowing as much as you can. If you like this video, consider subscribing and you won't miss our next video that could be very useful for you and that will help you to improve your American English. My name is Lola and I'll see you next Friday.